Blue Case on the pole looking for his first ever sprint car victory tonight. Tanner Carrick to his outside looking for his first Thunderbolt Raceway win. Side by side, wheel to wheel, wing to wing, off of turn number four, it's showtime with the Thunderbolt. Through turns one and two, Luke Hayes is going to slide across the racetrack, give the nod to Tanner Carrick. Down the back straightaway, everyone gets through up top, through turns three and four, lap one goes to Tanner Carrick. Tanner Carrick, Luke Hayes, Dominic Selzy, Chase Johnson, and Seth Stanley battles with Dominic Gordon. That's the race for fifth. Gordon downstairs, Stanley upstairs, through turns three and four. Lot number two, clicked off by Tanner Carrick. We go yellow. Now red flags around the racetrack as Phil Hainan upside down in a big way. On the back straight, red lights out around the Thunderbolt. Raceway crew quickly on the scene. A lot of damage to the 31H of Phil Heenan as he sits backwards. Tanner Kerr can go anytime he wants as the race leader in the KRC safety restart zone between the two pylons and turns three and four. Carrick sets a slow pace through turns three and four, hits the loud pedal. turns down the hill, we're back to green. Solid restart by Tanner Carrick, here comes Dom. Nick Selzy, look to the inside of Luke Hayes, he's got the thunder with the rumble in turn number three, off of turn four, Dominic Selzy, hook, line, and sinker, moves to P2. Tanner Carrick puts that Hoosier, right rear tire up against the boards and turns one and two, he's upstairs, Dominic Selzy's downstairs, Luke Hayes runs third, and here comes Chase Johnson. Johnson, quick time, what is he raised? He's looking to go for a clean sweep at the Thunderbolt Raceway, he throws a slider on Luke Hayes. Cal Rasmussen retires turn three into the infield. This time by will be four laps complete, 21 to go. Tanner Carrick up front over Dominic Selzy, Chase Johnson, Luke Hayes, and here comes Justin Sanders up the P5. Sanders with a ton of momentum, dips down low. Who Hayes shuts the door on Sanders into turn number three. Five down, last time by Dominic Selzy, turned the fastest lap of the race, a 14-7-4-5. Traffic now to be contended with your leader. Carrick has not left the top side of the racetrack as Dominic Selzy has been searching around. Steve J. Quip gets put a lap down by Tanner Carrick as Dominic Selzy follows suit upstairs at car number 41. Seven laps complete for Tanner Carrick over Dominic Selzy, Chase Johnson, Luke Hayes. And just as Casey White is going to spin and come to a stop. Yellow lights. As now he has Dominic Selzy right behind him. Bunches the field up. Hits loud pedal. We're back to green. Justin Sanders going to throw a super slider on Luke Hayes. Move Justin Sanders up to the four spot on the restart. Tanner Carrick up front, upstairs. Dominic Selzy downstairs. Top shelf's the way to be right now through turns one and two. We got multiple lanes in three and four. Carrick upstairs. Dominic 
Tannick sells you lurking in the weeds on traffic, picks the puck of Tannick Herring, Casey Weichel, way off the pace of Carter, 53, Tannick Herring gets by, so does Shane Shaws, and now here comes Justin Sanders, meanwhile up front, Dominic sells he's absolutely gone, big car number 41. 14 down, 11 to go, a second and a half lead last time, Harper Dominic sells he, as he hits the cruise control on the taco truck. Two-thirds of the way home, 15 down, 10 to go, Dominic Selzy, nearly two-second lead over Tanner Carrick in the rest of the field. Dominic Selzy just dominating this one, in car number 41. All your leaders run the top shelf of the racetrack in turns one and two, floating around, searching in turns three and four. Your top four pretty spaced out around the racetrack right here. Half time by 17 laps down, eight laps to go. Heavy traffic for leader Dominic Selzy. Tanner Harris trying to rope him in. Selzy looks to the inside of Dunkirk. In. Gonna slide Dunkirk, turns one, two. Dunkirk's gonna answer the call. Diamond's it. Let Selzy get away in number 41. Selzy gets around Casey Weichel, puts him a lap down once again as Bryce Eames is from your leader. Tanner Carrick trying to rope in Dominic Selzy in traffic. Left on by a one second lead for Selzy. Carrick trimmed off eight tenths of a second at last time, but slips the grip off the exit too. Dominic Selzy starts to pull away once again. 20 down, five to go for Dominic Selzy. That time by a second and a half lead once again for Selzy. He throws a short start on Bryce Eames, nearly makes contact with the lap car. for Austin Wood comes to a stop underneath Stan Greenberg's Western Metal Company sign on the back straightaway. Tough break for Austin Wood. He was running ninth at the time. Comes to a stop underneath Stan Greenberg's Western Metal Company sign off the exit of turn number two. Down to car number 41. Back to green. turn number two. That seems to be the problem turn tonight. Off of turn number four. Back to green. Didn't get slid this time, but lost a lot of ground to Dominic Selzy. We're three wide for the fourth spot down the back straight. Luke Hayes going to pick the pocket of Justin Sanders. We stay clean and green. 22 laps complete. Three laps to go. Super slider by Sanders. Comes across the nose of Luke Hayes. Tags the wall. Hayes makes the call back. The fourth down the back straight away. He races on for second now between Tanner Carrick and Chase Johnson. Over a second and a half lead for Dominic Sells in that last time by. Down the back straight through turns three four. White flag, one to go for Dominic Selzy. Track definitely 
again in this race? Looked like Tanner Carrick had the field covered, but you just reeled him in slowly and slowly, and then uh, lap traffic became heavy. Yeah, this is dumb, but it's a Saturday night, 1500 to 360 show, and I'm getting myself emotional. Um, the last time I went with my daughter was with me, she was too little to remember it, and I remember so many times going to Victory Lane with my dad. I really hope she remembers this one. This is really special to me. I wanted to win for her really bad. It's super cool. For super future husband Charlie too. Arranging marriages now too, aren't you? Uh, so let's talk about lap traffic. I mean, uh, Tanner had the field covered. Looks like you're running the bottom down in turns three and four, up top of one and two. You're reeling them in, and then, uh, like I said, all of a sudden he got hung up in a hurry. Yeah. Um, you know, I felt like I was closing in on through three and four when I was doing like the dive bomb through the middle bottom. And, uh, um, I just wasn't 100% confident what I was going to do when I got to him. Because I wasn't getting off of two as good as he was. I felt like I was having a fall and, and I was kind of hanging myself off. And I just kind of really honestly felt weird all feet long. I, I never felt fantastic anywhere I went. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. The, the car obviously was really good. I mean, it had a lot of speed. And, and when, when he, I saw that lap car, he was kind of in the way. And, uh, you know, when, when I saw that he was going to go low, I knew Tanner was, was thinking, I don't really want to go around him. And I felt like I'm going to have to put myself in an uncomfortable position to hopefully get my both of them and it just worked out. So I've been in Tanner's position and, and you know, kind of doesn't fall your way. And then it, I've been in my position and it falls our way. So it's awesome that it did and uh, great to come back to the Thunder Bowl and, and, uh, and get a win. I love coming here and uh, hopefully we can do one more. Once you got out front, it looked like you were having fun banging the wall down there. Yeah, it was. I, I, I like this place when it gets slowed down around the top. And, and it really wasn't slowed down. It was pretty fast up there. So uh, happy that you know I didn't have to lean up against it too hard to where I started throwing the nose or anything because that place can bite you quick here. So uh, and I got my daredevil kid wanting to jump off the dang stage. So uh, she was she was kind of how I was feeling out there, just wide open. So happy to get the win and um, hopefully we can uh, roll on and get another one. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for tonight's Kings of Thunder feature member Dominic Selzy.